What's going on guys? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. Today's video, as you saw in the title, is how to Palpatine. It's gonna be a lot of tips and tricks on uh, the best way to play Palpatine, the best strategies, all of his stats, all that kind of stuff. This is gonna be great for people that are new to Battlefront 2, people that don't really know how to play Palpatine, because he is definitely one of the more complex villains. Um, he has a specific play style, and if you don't really know that play style, you're just it's not going to work out as Palpatine, trust me. Um, he, he can be, if you know how to play him, he is definitely one of the most overpowered villains in Battlefront 2. Of course, he was broken at launch. Um, he could, like, hit people through walls and stuff. Um, he's been buffed quite a bit to the point where he's definitely one of the best villains there is. But this uh, video will also be good for veteran players, people who have been playing for a while. Because some of the stuff in this video you probably haven't heard of. In fact, I myself hadn't heard of a lot of these stats and statistics and different things um, before I did the research. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll get into those tips. Um, first, we're going to get into the statistics. Palpatine has a base health of 700, which um, it's the same as Darth Maul. Um, most lightsaber people in Battlefront have 750 health. And some of them have, um, you know, a heal. Palpatine does not have a heal. So his health is like, it's all right because Palpatine um, is such a versatile hero. Like he can move around really quickly, makes him hard to hit. So really his health isn't bad. His health isn't good. Like even though his health is lower than most, he's such a quick hero moving around that it doesn't really matter. And also he doesn't have to get super close to enemies. Of course, he can hit people from range. So that's really good. Um, he has a regen of 250, so if you get hit down to like 300, you're going to regen up to 550. Is that right? I think I did the... <laughs> make sure I did the math right there. So yeah, he's got a regen of 250, and he re his regen delay is 5 seconds. So after he takes damage, it will take 5 seconds for him to start regening. And he regens 750 health per second. Um, now... The thing where Palpatine is really unique is his attack. Of course, his attack is his Force Lightning. And um, this a lot of new players don't know this. Um, veteran players probably do. But for you new people, you have to press left trigger and right trigger to do both his hands, uh, both his hands doing the lightning. He can do one-handed lightning. And the thing that's unique about one-handed lightning is it only does 45 damage per second. Um, but it spreads to all enemies. So when you do two-handed lightning, it just targets one person, but it does double the damage. But it also drains his stamina twice as quick, and it does not damage um, all the enemies. If you do the one-handed lightning, he can do it for 14 seconds before he, he runs out of stamina. And he also um, hits everyone in the area for 45 damage per second. Um, really, no, you shouldn't be using two-handed lightning except in this one scenario that I'll go through. Um, you really want to stick to that two-handed lightning. You can take out enemies really quick, and um, it's just much better. Of course, to do two-handed lightning, you have to press left trigger and right trigger and hold those down. Um, so for any new players with Palpatine, you cannot just hold down the right trigger to do both-handed lightning. Um, that is why that is one place where he's very unique. Uh, most games don't have anything like that. You just press right trigger to attack. Um, a lot of I see a lot of new players, you know, don't know that, so I wanted to state that. Um, but yeah, you really want to stick to the two-handed lightning. Um, the one combo I might use where I would use uh, the one-handed lightning is after you do chain lightning. Chain lightning does 120 damage, so basically it's not going to insta kill unless people are weak. What you want to do is you want to hit them with the chain lightning and then just hold down right trigger or left trigger and hit him with the one-handed. That way, um, even though it only does 45 damage per second, it won't really matter because you already have those people really, really weak. And also, you're probably doing chain lightning only in a scenario when people are grouped up. So if you hit him with that chain lightning, they're all going to be pretty much one hit, and then you can just hold down the one-handed lightning, and that will take and that will kill all of them, because of course with the one-handed lightning it spreads to everyone, and it will do enough damage to finish them off. Now, if you have enforcers or heroes in there, um, then you might not want to do that. You might want to just stick to the two-handed to finish that off, because the two-handed lightning does spread. After it kills a hero, it does very quickly spread to like the other people. Um, target them at least so that is very good but that is the one scenario where you might want to mix in some one-handed lightning um, 
Otherwise, you're just going to take too much damage. It just takes too long to kill. Um, with the two hands, like I said, um, it does 90 damage per second, and he can do it for 7 seconds, which is pretty good. Um, we went through Chain Lightning. It does 120 damage. and does, It has a 15 second cooldown, which is very good. Um, his other ability is the Electrocute. Now, Electrocute really is not a very good ability used against infantry. I would never use Electrocute against normal infantry classes because it's just not really worth it. Um, of course, when Palpatine does Electrocute, the animation, he stands still when he does it, which leaves you very vulnerable. So really, when you do it around infantry, there's really no point. You're better off just straight up killing them. Um, the one scenario where I would use Electrocute is against enemy heroes. Um, a really good strat to do in HVV or even in Galactic Assault when you want a hero to get off you. You can do his dash attack, like running away, and then turn around and electrocute them, which will stun them, and then you can continue to escape, or you can just start killing them. Either one is really good. Um, but yeah, electrocute, it has a 20 second recharge, and there's really no point in using it unless you're facing a hero that you want to either get away from or just, you know, have an extra hand against them. It's really good for electrocuting heroes and then your team can shoot them or you can shoot them, anything like that. But really there's no point in using it against any you know, basic infantry because you'll just get lasered because you're standing still during that animation. Plus the electrocute only stuns people for one second, which um, isn't bad for like trying to escape or getting a little bit of damage. Really I like to, with heroes, you can really mess them up if you electrocute them and then like you hit him with a chain lightning right before the electrocute um you know goes off essentially so that's a really good combo you can kind of that'll get a hero to stop chasing you or it will you know kill them and then his other ability is the dark aura it has a recharge time of 25 seconds but it's active for eight seconds this is really good to activate. I would activate this whenever you can. Um, he does stand still when he does the animation, so I would wait to do... I would wait to, you know, put on this ability before you get into a fight. If you do it during a fight, you're probably going to get... You're going to take a lot of damage for it. But it's really good because it disorients enemies, you know, that it does do damage to them, and it also kind of blinds them a little bit. It's a very good ability. I would definitely activate it before I, you know, push into a group of enemies or just... In HVV, it's really good because it slows enemy down, enemies down. They can't sprint while they're inside it, um, which is really good for keeping lightsaber heroes, you know, at bay, keeping them away from you. Really, the Electrocute and Aura are really good against lightsaber people to get them off you. Um, so, yeah, those are all of Palpatine's abilities. Chain Lightning is definitely the best. Um, Aura is really good. Electrocute is probably the worst ability, but it does have a scenario to use it that I went over. We went over his stats. Now we're going to get into his star cards and then we'll get more into like how to play him. Now, before I get into the star cards, which will be the end of this video, I want to discuss Palpatine's dash. Palpatine's dash is um, very unique in that his dash to the side and to the back is just a standard dash and you don't go very far. The dash is, of course, where you press B twice and your hero, you know, um, pretty much teleports to the left or to the right or to the back. But Palpatine's dash forward is very unique. It's where he spins forward. It's actually, it's, it's an actual ability in Battlefront 1. That's how good it is. But um, he can actually do it as much as you want. You can do it twice in the span of like three seconds or something like that. Um, you want to use this whenever you can. It's really good if someone's attacking you from behind or from the front, you can dash away. Um, really good for escaping and closing the distance. Um, usually what I do is I dash forward twice and then I jump and then by the time I come back down I'll be able to dash two more times and that's really how I cover distance um, the fastest so really you want to constantly with Palpatine you want to be constantly dashing and jumping because you don't really have to aim too much with his attack and that way you're hardest to hit so I'm when I play Palpatine I'm constantly dashing forward I'm constantly jumping I'm never just sitting on the ground you want to be jumping whenever you're attacking because you're hardest to hit um but yeah let's get into the star cards now 
All right, first we're gonna go through the star cards you wanna use for Palpatine in Galactic Assault and Supremacy. The first name of the first card you wanna definitely use is Lightning Reach. This increases um, the attack range of Palpatine's Lightning by 30%. It's really good because you can hit people from a distance and you don't have to get as close. Of course, the farther away you can damage enemy from, enemies from, the better, um, the less likely it is they're gonna hit you. So I would definitely use this ability. Um, Probably an HVV as well. We'll go through the HVV cards after we go through the Galactic Assault cards, of course, but I would definitely use this attack. The other one I use is Surge of Lightning. Um, this way, Chain Lightning can bounce to more targets. It can bounce to an extra four more people. This is great for getting a ton of multi-kills and stuff like that. It's so satisfying killing like six, seven, eight people with Chain Lightning. Would definitely use this against infantry. Um, not as useful against heroes, but definitely really good against infantry and clearing out choke points, which is really what Palpatine's best at with Chain Lightning. The other card I use is In Full Control. Um, Emperor Palpatine's lightning attacks drain less stamina. It reduces the stamina drain by 16%, which may not seem like a lot, but trust me, it is. I would definitely use this um, in like at all times. This is really good against heroes, and it's really good against infantry because you could uh, be attacking people for a very long time if you're facing a bunch of people. Um, this way, you're basically never going to be out of, out of stamina, which is a really good place to be. You can always be attacking, pretty much, which is really good, because um, if you run out of stamina as Palpatine, you literally are pretty much defenseless, because he does not have a block. So I'd definitely use that card. All right, now we're going to get into the cards I use for... Um, the cards I use for... I am blanking. Uh, HVV. Um, really, I use pretty much the same ones. I use Lightning Reach for um, hitting people from range, and I use in full control so that I don't drain as much stamina. The card I switch, though, is instead of using Surge of Lightning, which is the Chain Lightning ability, I actually use... I use the Rule of Two. Emperor Palpatine's two-handed... Two-hand lightning attacks deal bonus damage to enemies that are electrocuted. Electrocute is definitely best in heroes versus villains. This way, if I got a lot of heroes attacking me, or um, I'm just really low and one guy's attacking me, I can like run away with two dashes, turn around and electrocute him because he's just going to be running at me trying to catch me. He's not going to be blocking. And then I can do a ton of damage in that time where he's stunned. I can hit him with a lot of lightning, which does a lot more damage with this star card because they take more damage and then at the end of it i can hit him with the chain lightning which does an extra 120. so you can do 300 like around 300 damage to people with this ability in a second literally and uh, that's definitely why i use it really good for hvb but yeah this has really been how to play palpatine always stay on the move always be using your dashes especially the one forward always um, be jumping around stuff like that make it really hard for people to hit you and again you really don't have to aim very much always use two-handed lightning except in that one scenario where maybe people are grouped up and you just hit them with the chain lightning and you want to finish them off but always be holding down both triggers um, constantly stay on the move and i hope this guy helped uh, this video helped you guys out and i will see you guys in the next one peace